Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a leaky Toto Drake flapper valve. This is the valve that I took out. All it does is when you pull the chain, it breaks the seal on the tube where it drains down into the toilet. It breaks the seal and this part is filled with air so it floats up and then as soon as the water gets down to the level it drops back down and seals back up. And it was leaking just a little bit. You could hear it fill up every, oh I don't know, it probably started at a half hour and then it got to be about 10 minutes. We don't have chlorine in our water so it gets like a black slime on here and it was real heavy on the rim here so i went and cleaned that off thinking that would help and it did not help at all it made it leak worse so it got to where it was filling back up every three minutes or so and it just got outrageous i was busy doing this siding project if you're new to the channel you should subscribe and watch some of the siding stuff it's pretty interesting. We do a ton of stuff here. But anyways, back to the, the float valve. I watched a video. There was only two videos on how to replace a Toto Drake float valve. One was by a little kid, and he was actually pretty informative. But it was a different model toilet, and the flapper came out different than on my toilet. The other video I watched... It looked like the exact same flapper and everything, but the guy talked forever and then then he just like lifts it out of there and says, I got the flapper out, and he didn't say how he did it. And that's what I really wanted to show you. I had to cut these. There is no way to get them off. They go through a solid plastic bar, and then they have a little part that comes up, so they won't slip over it and there's no like latch or anything uh, i guess some of them have latches but these certainly didn't so all i did was go from what did i do it went from the top and just popped it down i think on the side there wasn't much room but it doesn't matter this stuff cuts real easy you just cut it a bit and then pull it off so then, when you go to get the replacement part, you got to find out if you have a 2-inch or a 3-inch drain hole. This is a 3-inch, and this is the replacement part. I'll leave a link to it in the comments below. It's a Corky 3-inch Universal, and here's all the different uh, flaps it replaces. And on the back... It's got settings. It's got like a dial on it. You just turn. I'll show you that when we get to the toilet in a little bit. And for the Toto Drake, the setting is 6. And that's how long it flushes. So now that you know how to get the old one off. Oh, and another thing. When you do get the old one off, the different toilets have a different depth to the water. What you got to do is just take this chain and measure the distance all the way up into this ring and then with the new one get it to that same length before you put it in now let's go take a look at the replacement already installed on the toilet okay like a big dummy i went up there and finished the video without showing this little dial here and you really wouldn't have been able to see it anyways because this was installed. Let's see how well that shows. You have 1 through 8 written on the red part there. Not sure if that's showing up or not. And then kind of an arrow on the white plastic right there. You can see it's pointing at the 6. So that's how you do that setting. And what that does is it changes how much air or how fast the air can escape if this is all the way over then the air can escape really fast so it has a much shorter flush so that's how that works and how you get this on you just push it you 
push it like that. I'll be showing it in the video that I've already filmed, but I'll just be describing it and not actually showing it. So these just push right on real easy. And I can show you this as well. This little clip here is the one that actually came on the original. And I liked that better than the one that came on the replacement. So I just used that one over. And all I did was fold over the chain. There's no reason to cut it off. So this is at uh, 5 inches of chain plus whatever this hook is. And that's the same as it measured on the original. All right, I'll get this put back in and then get back to the film that I filmed about 15 minutes ago. All right, got a little bit of light on the subject. All your information is on the underside of the lid here, but I do believe this flapper will work on any Toto that has a three inch hole. Let's get this off of here. All right, and there's the replacement flapper. It's a good deal bigger than the one that was taken out and it just clips on from the end. I'm sure you can see that. It just snaps on, pushes this way and snaps right on. Super easy. And then like I said, that chain is, I just have it wrapped around. So it's at five inches is what this was. <laughs> All right, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, the only reason I made this video is because the videos out there on the subject were just so bad. They didn't show that you have to cut off that old flapper. I was looking all over for clips that they said were there. They're not there. If, if you take a flashlight and look down there and you don't see metal clips, just cut the thing off and put the replacement on like this. All right. So if you have a problem with your toilet topping itself off every once in a while, the flush valve is probably the problem. And these are a wear item. I guess they say they will last about two to three years. This one was in about five years, I believe. So if your valve has been in more than two to three years and it's starting to run every once in a while, it's likely that this is the problem. So just measure the hole the hole that this goes into if it's three inch get this one corky three inch universal if your model is on the back here and it probably is and if you have a two inch get the two inch universal which i believe they make i think we saw it while we were there but if not just find the one that that'll work for you and again the other video i saw the guy just glossed right over how to get this off and I was messing with this for a good amount of time following his instructions to, oh, they just have clips there somewhere. And that was actually in the comments, not in the video itself. Um, and most of the comments were, well, how did you get the flapper off? That's the hardest part. So most of the people were probably having that same problem. This thing does not come off without being cut off. So that's your solution, a razor blade. So that's it for that. I have a ton of work to do here on the homestead, including a review of this DeWalt electric chainsaw. So make sure you subscribe and see that. And once you're subscribed, click on the update icon so you're notified when we post new videos. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.